Okay, thanks everybody for stopping by. This is going to be a real short video. And I'm just throwing some ideas at you, and I want you to throw some ideas back at me in the comments. Now, when I was doing the quick videos on how to take that back door panel off, I did mention that I was interested in doing a table, and a bunch of people jumped on that and said, yes, 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 do a table. And I think I'm gonna do that. So, Mike, this is for you, buddy. I'm just gonna run some ideas past you. I, I don't wanna just do a piece of timber that folds up, and that's it. Ultimately, that would work, and I'd be happy enough with that, and I was gonna do that, to be honest, but, with everybody getting on me saying that I need to make a table, I figured I, I really should put some effort into it and come up with something a little bit unique and something a little bit different and ultimately something that's gonna work for me. Keep in mind that when I go camping, I'm typically camping on my own with the dog. Occasionally, I may have a second person. The way that I have my Pajero set up for camping is pretty much around solo camping. So I've got the bed build, which is for one person, uh, obviously I've got the fridge in that, it's only a 30 litre fridge, I can throw a second fridge in there if I need to. So it's basically set up for me and the dog. So I sleep over the back, he sleeps over the front. Any cutlery and stuff like that that I need to take, mattresses, uh, anything, anything that I need to take as far as camping is usually around one person. So that's me, so I get to build it how I want. With that in mind, I want you to have a look at what I'm starting here and give me some ideas and let me know what you think. Now I've seen some people put some spice racks and all sorts of weird and wonderful things, you know, grog holders and stuff, in behind their table. And while I find they're very interesting, in particular the spice rack, I like a little bit of spice on my steak or something when I'm cooking up. But what I really want to do is maximise the space that I've got in the back here, specifically for the camping. So I'm thinking, well, I, yeah, this, this is going to be a table, it's going to be a cooking type area, food prep, that sort of stuff. So that's the sort of stuff that I want to put in this area. So with that in mind, I ducked down to Kmart uh, to go and grab another, to go and grab a little stainless, a couple of little stainless steel cups, and that was about going to do me. But when I got there, I spotted this stuff. Now it basically says it's a reusable cup. It's not microwave or oven safe, so that's interesting. You can't put these in the microwave. It's like a hard plastic, so it says it's made from a blend of bamboo, melamine, and cornstarch. So that's interesting. But anyway, they're hard plastic. And I looked at the plastic stuff and I looked at the stainless steel. I really went in to go and get the stainless steel. I thought if I'm going to be cutting, you know, food up on a stainless steel plate, it's going to get cut, it may scratch, it may start to rust because it's not going to be the best stain out. So then I looked at the normal plastic and the plastic looked like it wasn't going to last that long. So I went with these. These are kind of in the middle. They're solid. So they've kind of got the rigidity of the stainless steel, uh, but the light weight of the plastic and not likely to scratch or anything and, and rust so I went with a bunch of those. Now this is the area behind this little panel here. I am thinking about leaving that in there, I'm not entirely sure, but what I want to do is basically turn this little area here into a picnic kit uh, with you know, plates and bowls and cutlery and stuff like that. So with that in mind, I did buy four of everything so I do have backups but it's really going to be set up for two. So with that in mind I've got two cups. They're going to go on the ends there, something like that. A couple of bowls. They're going to slot in something like that. Now, I am going to give myself the option of cutting some of this away and making this fit for purpose. And then we've also got a couple of plates. Now, I'm not real sure what to do with those. I've got the idea of just putting some bungee strap on each of these to hold these in. Ultimately, these could also go over here somewhere like this, or they could go over on this side. Possibly if I turn them around. Um, or even just sit them in, possibly like that. And then obviously when the table goes up, that's gonna hold all that in. Put a couple little bungee straps on so I can pull them out. I'm quite liking how this stuff is sitting at the top, that's good. And then finally, what I've also done is bought a few pieces of this cutlery. Now this is stainless steel stuff. They did have the cutlery in the same material as the cups and bowls, etc. But it just, you know, if you've ever used plastic knives and forks, they're a bit shit. So I went with the stainless steel stuff. These were only, these were only about three bucks or something a set. So I, again, I grabbed four sets of these for future use. And if I decide I want to make it a setup for four, then I'll make up for four. Comes with a little holder. Now what I might actually do, I don't know yet, we might actually screw that on or something like that. And then I can just drop my cutlery in there like that. That might work. Okay, so they're basically 
knife, fork, spoon. I'm definitely going to put a better edge on those knives. Uh, and then it looks like the holder actually becomes a little bot opener, so that's real handy as well. But yeah, I've only just thought of that, the fact that I could turn that into a little holder and just screw that in. I could put one there and one there possibly. So basically this is the way these come out of the pack like that. But obviously if I try and mount them, that spoon sticks out a little bit further. So if I literally just take them out, turn them around, slot them back in, that puts that raised part of the spoon on the outside and then I can mount it. So what I'm envisaging and envisaging is something like that, I guess. Now, even though I'm pretty much gonna be set up for two people, I did grab four of everything. So four of these, four of the bowl, four of the cups, four of the plates. I did keep in mind, cause like I'm gonna build the back of the car around this. So even though I only need two, if anything breaks or I lose something, the chances of me being able to rock into Kmart again and find the exact product is possibly limited. I might even go and buy another two of everything for later on and just stick it in the shed. So I really wanted to grab backups because if I'm gonna make shapes and cut things and prepare things specifically for the size of these products, then I need to know that if, if I lose something or if I break something, I'm gonna have another one, exact same size, it's gonna fit back in the spot. These were four bucks, so 16 bucks for the bowls. I think the cups were four bucks, plates were four bucks. Uh, these, which, I'm gonna actually recommend, uh, these are only three bucks. So I grabbed a bunch of these. I've had things like this similar in the past and I've never been too impressed with them. Look, they're all right, the, the quality is not fantastic, but ultimately they're just spoons, knives and forks. So I really like the holder. That I, I wasn't aware of this holder thing when I bought it. So that's a bit, of a bit of a lucky thing. So ultimately what I need to do is just come up with an idea what to do with the plates. So. Have a look just on the back of the plate, you see they do bulge out. That's a standard plate thing, obviously. Uh, now, if I was to stick them on that lip down the bottom here and then push them back, I'm not sure whether you can see, but that little lip is just stopping those from sort of going, I guess, a little bit more flat like that, which is what I'd like. So just having a look behind this, it looks like I could actually just cut out a little bit of that, not lose the strength that's going to hold onto this, and they might sit nice and flush, put a little bit of bungee cord around them, something like that. We might be in action. That being said though, with them sitting up on this lip, it means I'm not going to be able to put the cover back on, but that's no biggie. Once the table goes up, these will hold in place. I, you know, I don't think I need bungee on these, but they might rattle. So we might come up with something like a small microfiber towel or something. Funny I should say that, small microfiber towel. If I go into my little bug out type kit that I keep in the back of the car always, which has got like a, a life straw, it's got some first aid stuff in there, torch, mm, all that sort of stuff. Um, so if I go into there, I've actually got one of those little microfiber towels. I reckon that, might just fit in there nicely and stop anything from vibrating etc and then I don't have to worry about it everything's going to be staying in place that's good plates are going to go something like that maybe sit a little bit flush and our cutlery is going to be over here so what I can do when I drill these I'll probably drill holes through them put a little wash on the back just to bring them out just that little bit and they will sit there and a light just up here I was thinking maybe I could put the light here I do have a little touch control light that could probably work that would be a nice area for the light I think that's good I look I don't know uh, I'm open to ideas I'm open to opinions uh, give me your thoughts 
I'm also thinking about, because I'm going to be using this probably for cooking and uh, all that sort of stuff, I do have in mind of getting some other, uh, I do have in mind of putting some other cutlery type stuff there for cooking, like a spatula, a pair of tongs, and a good knife of some description. So I think I need a, I need a knife. Some sort of a spatula for you know, flipping eggs and bacon and all that sort of stuff. And a little pair of tongs. And I need to come up with where those can go. So I think maybe I should leave this space over here. Not so much for the cutlery, but for those, because they're likely to be a little bit taller. And that's a better space there. So again, I think that brings us to cutlery being over here. That'll make the cutlery readily available. The other alternative is I stick the cutlery in here. It's not going to go vertical. I could stick the cutlery in here behind the place. That maximises that space. But that long area might also be good for specialists and stuff like that. I'll need to go and grab those, go and buy those, and sit here and put it all on and just see how it goes. Anyway, so that's it. So that is the planning for the table for the back of the Bajera. So. Uh, with so many people out there that have these in the back of their four wheel drives or were wanting me to get this done, um, shoot me some comments, let me know what you think thus far, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Cheers guys, thanks very much for stopping by, I'll catch you on the next one.